Sai Pradeen for uh, be, being with uh, Arvind Reesalam. Um, we would talk about uh, how the market is currently uh, in terms of the storage trends that you see in the market. Uh, with cloud coming into both private and public, uh, how are people using storage in terms of storing the data? So if you can start with a, uh, uh, an update on how the storage market is here in the Middle East and Africa market. Uh, so if you look at storage, I think so Middle East and Africa is not left out from anywhere else in the world where uh, data is being created every second. Uh, everyone is carrying a device in their pocket creating data. Uh, I think so for us at Western Digital, our key component is that uh, we strive uh, in coming up with solutions which make uh, data thrive. Okay. Uh, so that's a big onus on us because uh, from the smallest of the micro SD cards to the highest end of the enterprise solutions, uh, we have a solution for the end user, the enterprises and the consumers to make sure that the data is there. Okay. In terms of solutions, when you look at, say, private cloud, for example, has that picked up a lot in, in the home uh, segment? So it has, uh, because uh, as I previously said, that everyone is creating enormous amounts of data and they want to have that convenience of uh, not only accessing, uh, but also sharing that data. And today data is not only numbers and spreadsheets, mm -hmm. it's more to do about memories. So people are more to share uh, their personal videos, their pictures, uh, their sound bits and stuff like that. So yes, of course, uh, today people uh, as an end consumer are not only keeping their data backed up in the cloud mm -hmm. somewhere outside the premises, but also inside the premises. And uh, also with the advancements on the internet speeds, uh, this has uh, seriously thrived in the region. Okay. Uh, NAS drives are picking up quite fast because of uh, private cloud uh, that people want to actually have a storage, central storage solution for their homes or offices, for example. How do you see that market growing in terms of applications that are being built for NAS drives? So for us, uh, these are two separate or two entirely different spectrums, NAS and personal cloud. So whereas on the personal clouds front, we have the MyCloud solution, but on the NAS, we have the EX series. And uh, we clearly demarcate from the applications and things, the softwares which are on these two different devices. One is more towards the Soho uh, side of the business and the other is more towards the consumer where he wants to have the access of Plex for uh, keeping all their content in one place, indexing it and things like that. Okay. Uh, with GDPR coming into play from May onwards, and uh, have you seen any major changes in, the, in terms of policies that are being uh, used by companies, for example, in, uh, and on how they store data in this market, especially. So the first thing which we've seen is now whichever website you go, you need to click on the accept button. Yeah. Uh, but yes, it's a good sign for us and for the consumers, uh, the industry at large, I would say that there are more regulations, do's, don'ts and standards uh, coming into play. So it's not just an open field for anyone or anyone to do anything which they wish. So uh, for us as a vendor standards, uh, are always more than appreciated. Okay. Over the past, um, say, three to four months, uh, kind of a time frame, what kind of uh, new products has uh, WD launched into the market? What are your key uh, products that you want to showcase, maybe at Jitex, which is going to happen this month, or later this month? So later this month at Jitex, uh, I think so it's one. It's going to be one of our largest footprint at Jitex. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have been associated with Jitex for the past two decades. Uh, but this is going to be the biggest footprint. Uh, we have a lot of products to showcase, uh, especially after the, uh, the mergers and acquisitions of a lot of solutions coming into play under the Western Digital umbrella. So we would be showcasing from our SanDisk products uh, all the way up to our Ultrastar solutions and uh, our systems and platform solutions from an enterprise front. So yes, anyone who is looking uh, for a mobile solution to a PC computing solutions and all the way up to a data center user, if he needs a storage solution. Uh, and that's why it's, it's very important for us this year, JITEX. Okay. In terms of technology week, are you going to um, announce any new uh, partnerships at the event or maybe any new products that you want to uh, bring into the market, any new uh, markets that you want to get into? Uh, so for us, from a market coverage perspective, uh, I think so we are very well entrenched until and unless some new countries come up. So we have a formidable uh, presence through our partners uh, in almost all the countries 
where uh, legitimate business is allowed. So we have a presence in uh, all the countries. From a product perspective also, a go-to-market uh, strategy with the our distributors have been very strong. So it's going to be much more in uh, showcasing to our existing partners the new solutions, uh, getting them up to place. And uh, even we're going to be having a training uh, from our MyWD team, which is going to be there at Jitex, where on the spot we'll do trainings and certifications for our partners uh, because we foresee that partners are going to be coming in from all the corners of the region. Uh, Jitex is an important event for everyone in the industry. Okay. In terms of bifurcation of products, uh, you you have color coded products like some for gaming, some for uh, eco friendly, you know, use of uh, say electricity or resources, and some are uh, for uh, surveillance, for example. So, do do, uh, do your customers understand the color uh, you know coding of these products? Uh, it has been an educational uh, endeavor for us mm -hmm. for quite some years now. Uh, I think so. Copy is the best flattery. Mm -hmm. When we see the industry uh, from all the other vendors also following the same way that everyone is going through that phase of changing and coming to a color uh, segmentation, uh, it gives us those stars on our shoulders that yes, we did it right. And uh, today, and I'm very proud on behalf of my team that we have done a great job that if you look at any security and surveillance thing people say yes we use purple mm -hmm. uh, the brand names the long serial numbers are long gone and uh, so purple has become synonymous with security and surveillance so red with our uh, NAS solutions black with the high-end computing and blue with the desktop and our day-to-day -day uses that has made the life of the consumer the reseller the salesperson very easy mm -hmm. and that was the intent Okay, uh, you spoke about surveillance, and WD was probably one of the f first, uh, you know, vendors who went into surveillance with a storage product. Uh, how has that worked for WD in terms of, uh, say, market share, or in terms of uh, people accepting those products for uh, surveillance, and your partnerships with other surveillance providers as well? So it had been a long endeavor when we started. I still remember people were saying, uh, "What's this? Why for surveillance? Surveillance is just a small thing." But uh, I think so. The fruits paid off on that. Our investments paid off when we did. Uh, today's surveillance globally, if I look at it, is one of the fastest growing storage segment uh, as and when, uh, wherever. Uh, so even in this region, if you look at it, we are going through uh, the refresh stage where the new technologies on surveillance are coming. Uh, we, being the flag bearers on the storage surveillance side, uh, have the responsibility of coming out with better and better and higher capacity products to cater to that surveillance uh, segment. And uh, going forward, we are taking that responsibility ahead from Purple. So not only we are going to be showcasing and uh, driving the consumer towards the Purple, but on the high-end command centers and uh, high-end surveillance solutions where they need more than a drive, where there is a system running. Uh, we are also launching the Ultrastar, which is on the enterprise side of the products to take care of those command centers with our JBODs and systems, which we are going to be showcasing at Jitex. Uh, about your partner program, uh, has there been any en enhancement into the program? Have you onboarded any new partners? Has the criteria changed in terms of the levels of the partnership? So uh, the partner program, uh, the MyWD program, which we have for the partners, uh, of course, it's got enhanced. Uh, now it's, it's a part of the WD University as well our educational platforms which we had uh, with every addition of a product uh, more trainings more training modules more certifications uh, and things keep on coming in uh, we have added some modules to that for the uh, for the help of the partner especially on the security and surveillance front where they can download apps and these are more app based solutions to calculate how much storage they need and then environment what needs to be settled down we are even also giving the access to our partners to technical help from mm -hmm. our technical teams uh, it's an ongoing process uh, it's an ongoing process how to work on uh, bettering the perfection uh, which was created and uh, so it goes hand in hand by enriching the people who are the last leg of our solution with our offerings keeping them updated with the latest trends where the market is growing, what are the roadmaps, uh, and it's an ongoing process. And even on that, we are going to have uh, 
real time education and certification thing at jitex at chek rashid hall at our stand where specific teams are going to be present to help our partners from that perspective okay um the year will be end, uh, will end in the next 3 months so what kind of milestones do you have for this year and uh, have you been able to achieve those or are you almost going to be achieving those milestones so for us the milestones are not uh, quantitative milestones they are more qualitative milestones uh once you have majority of the world's data on your drive uh it's not about how many drives you sell but how many happy customers you end up making so for us uh, the objective is not to be the largest storage company which touch would we are uh, our objective is to be the best company uh, not only for our partners our customers uh, the users of our products but also for the people who bear the flag of this company uh so by the end of uh, this year the biggest objective we have is uh, around certain educations and uh, getting the customers know uh, for example we have uh, certain products which we had launched but still i feel there is a long way to go for example uh, we have this dual drive for android phones mm-hmm. it is like a usb drive for your phones and similarly we have solutions uh for the iOS op users where uh, excessive data or uh, your phones getting cramped up by data is the biggest problem of any user mm-hmm. in the mobile world and nobody wants to delete their phone or the memories which they have cl- uh, clicked or created because everything has a resonance with mm-hmm. something or the other so we have these solutions which we would be further enriching the market with uh for the mobile users and also for uh, we have specific solutions which go in for the uh, the drone users the gopro mm-hmm. users mm-hmm. the avid photographers and things like that so we would be going uh, out and educating the user that it's not a one solution fit all we have specific solutions and they are specific because of uh, some features and benefits in it for those users Uh, thanks uh, sir for, for speaking to Arimen Risala it was nice speaking with you thank you